Hello, all of y'all some YouTubers, and today what I have brought to you is another Lego set review. <clears throat> and as you can see, it is two sets that I combined. Um, I looked it up on Google and stuff, Google Images. This is how somebody put it together. So, uh, yeah, um, it is the Lego King's Castle. The recommended recommended ages are seven through twelve. Set number is seven zero four zero four. Um, uh, it has nine hundred and ninety six pieces. It's quite a bit. Pretty huge set. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's also combined with the Gatehouse Raid. Um, the recommended ages are six through twelve. This set number is 70402. Um, it has 248 pieces. And uh, it has the Lego, Lego Castle themed show playability features and stuff on the back. Kind of hard to see this one. Um. <clears throat> go over again. So, uh, yeah. Um, this catapult is from the Gatehouse Rage. This catapult, which is very cool in my opinion, uh, is from the King's Castle. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll go with showing you guys the characters. So, I'll be with you guys in a little bit. Okay, we are back, and uh, yeah, these are the characters that I put, and I think we'll go with the, um, let's go with the lion people first. Okay. Let's start off with the king, um, very cool crown. As usual, um, he has his golden sword. Pretty nice torso. Um, printed legs. Woohoo! Um, let me just do this. Do some more of this. Just a sec. Sorry. <clears throat> some pretty nice back printing. And this is. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's the king. Next one we'll all be showing you guys. Let me just put the king back here. Okay, we'll do that later. Um, there's a spearman. <clears throat> uh, he's from the, um, gatehouse raid. Uh, pretty cool helmet. Pretty common face. He has a spear, um, pretty nice torso, doesn't have any leg printing, he has back printing, it's pretty nice. That's basically it for the spearman. Next I'll show you the archer. This is from the king's castle. Um, pretty nice torso, once again no leg printing, same helmet, different face. Um, his bone arrow, his quiver. <clears throat> Come on, get back on there, bow. Okay, um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you his back printing. So yeah, there's the Archer. Um, next we have this dude with the crossbow. This is from the King's Castle set. Um, that common um, Lego Castle helmet. He has his brown crossbow. Pretty nice torso printing. No leg printing. Again, nice back printing. 
Next we have the two the two knights. Um here's this knight. As you can see, this is a cool playability feature. You can open it up or close it. Have the little feathers, nice shield, um his sword. And finally, somebody who has leg printing. Um pretty nice chest piece. Nothing on the back of the chest piece. Here's his normal back printing. The front. Pretty, very nice printing. Lego Movie did great on that. I mean, not Lego Movie, what? I just saw it a couple days ago. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's a very good movie. Anyway, uh, yep, there's that knight. Here's the other. This is from the castle raid. He has his shield, his sword, some feathering, different kind of helmet, it's that kind. Um, once again, leg printing, yay! Um, he has the same uh, um, chest piece thing with his head. Um, here's his torso, same thing basically. Here's the other one. Now for the last of the lion peoples is the horse. Woo! Nay. And with these new Lego horses, you can now pose their back legs so they can be like this or this. Um, but this can come off. Ah, oh, that hurt. Okay, um, next thing is, this comes off, I have this white piece in there that is supposed to be, like, when it doesn't have any long writing on them. <clears throat> and on this, you can hold weapons and stuff. So, uh, yeah, those are all the good peoples. Now for the bad ones. For the bad guys, I do not have every single piece because I opened up the gatehouse raid a while ago and I took out the horse because I loved it so much I wanted to take it home because right now I'm at my grandma's house. Anyway, um, here's their spearman. Pretty cool black helmet. Nice torso back. Very nice. No leg printing. Here's this guy. He's like the wrecking ball dude. Um, nice torso, no leg printing back. Um, here's his face a little bit better. He also is a double face. Um, the next one is uh, this dude, the axe person. Um, nice helmet, nice. <clears throat> torso printing, leg printing, yes! Um, he has nice back printing. Come on, focus, there we go. So, uh, yeah, there's the Axeman. Um, here's this dude. He is from the castle raid. I mean, not castle... I mean, what? Um, it's from the King's Castle. Um, he has his nice sword right there. Come on, I'll focus. Um, nice shield. It's in a sword. Here's his head. It's double sided. Um, I'll show you his. Normal torso. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Nice leg printing. Let me just put them together again. Okay, and here's this guy. I lost a sword because this is from the gatehouse one. Um, nice shield. Basically, the rest of it is the same besides the sword and the... Wait, is that face the same? 
It is. Okay, he has the same face and everything, so basically the only difference between these two is the sword. So, uh, yeah, those are the characters, and right next we'll go to the, um, set. Okay, we, I am back, and now time to show you the set. In case you were wondering about the barrel of monkeys, it's so that I can sit down so it's not ugly. Just do that. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we'll start off with the bad guy stuff. Okay, so right now we have the King's Castle catapult. Let me take out the ammo right here. Ah, darn it. Crap, sorry. Oh, I didn't want to say it. Um, yeah. Okay. So right here we have a very good catapult. And all you have to do to launch is push this back. And it'll launch. Here, I'll do a harder real quick, let me just set it up again. Oh, wow, look where I got that. Hmm, I don't know if you can see that. The camera isn't, my iPod doesn't take videos 100%, but that's all I have, really. Um, there's the evil people's catapults. Um, I guess you could use this as a battering ram too. I mean, like, heave ho! So, there's that. Here's the other catapult. This is from the um, gatehouse raid. Um, basically, you just do this and then it launches it. Um, yeah, and then these are just the guys that are running. Now we'll get to the castle. Yeah. So this is the gatehouse raid one and the um, king's castle, and I'll show you the parts that of the gatehouse raid. This right here is the gatehouse raid. This piece, this little part right here is part of gatehouse, and then this is the gatehouse. So uh, yeah, there's that. Now I'll start showing you the playability feature. Yes, this is crazy awesome. Anyway, um, so as you can see, it's very big, so this is going to be a very long video. So we have these very nice banners, never seen those. Um, and a really cool thing is you can make the drawbridge go down, and then you can make it come up, and that it, and give a big thanks to Technic for doing that. And the same here with the gate. Takes a seat, comes up, and then goes down. There's the horsey. It's taking forever. Finally, okay. So there's that. Basically, it. Dude. Here's this, you can angle the crossbow however you want. Here's a cool part. Pops right out. And it goes smoothly back in. It's really hard to do. Oh, there we go. So, let's say a guy like, sneaks out. And breaks through that way. And uh, next we have... Ready to go next. Let's go up here. Once again, we have another one of those banners. Do, do, do. This is Technic also, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, this part. I need my barrel of monkeys. Oh, man, I hope this works. Okay. So, this is the jail. And if you take this chain piece off, you can open it. And close it, like for the bad guys, if you want to lock them up in a big cell for multiple people. And uh, over here, we have the 
gold piece. And if you go down, you have a catapult. And this catapult works with this ammo. You just basically just bring it back and then it reaches. And then, uh, yeah, you get the barrel of monkeys up. Um, then we have the king with his throne and his battle and his cup. That is the washing machine. Um, here is keeping a secret. It is the location of the treasure. Ah, okay, don't tell the bad guys, okay? Um, there's the keys. Um, down here is a door. Um, there we go. Over here, we have a very well working catapult. Okay. There's a table in there in case you were wondering what that was. Um, lots and lots of pieces. Okay, so basically, the catapult works like this. It works very nicely. Let me get the, this thing loaded up. So there's that. And get the barrel of monkeys again. Here's another jail cell. This is the one from the uh, gatehouse raid. Basically, just works like this. You can put probably two guys, maybe. Just opens up and closes like that. Um. Uh, you can do this. Here, you can angle that however you want. Same over here. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Might as well just show you the angles. This ang why, why are you laying down? No time to lay down. Okay, this way. Okay, there's that. Um, you don't really need to see the back, it's kind of boring. Oh yeah, also this opens up just like that, nice and easy. Um, here's this. And here's the bird's eye view. Please tell me that's still going. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's my Sorry, I have to do this. And, uh, yeah, um, we'll see you guys in a little bit, and I'll show you the extra pieces and the instructions. So, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we are back, and I'll show you the instructions. Show you... This is really wrinkled. Yeah, I know. Um, once again, I don't have a horse. Very sad. Um, same advertisement that Lego almost always uses. Um, shows you all the pieces right there. Lego Club. Um, free. Yep. Um, there's another. There's Lego Castle. Lego Castle. I have got to get that set with the dragon, and then I'll review that, probably, if you guys enjoy these videos. Um, basically just shows you the playability. This is a 46-page build with the gatehouse, and that's what it looks like, in case you're wondering what it looks like normal. Okay. Now... The King's Castle is so huge that it took up Three, and I mean three of these instruction manuals. The first one, uh, here's the Lego Castle advertisement of Lego.com. Uh, playability features, uh, again. Um, this is an 82 page book. Um, basically, it just shows how you can. It gave, it gave us, yes, it gave us one of these. Yeah, I know. So awesome. Gave us one of the brick separators. Very helpful. 
very nice. Um, here's the second. Um, that little castle advertisement. This is a 75 page book. Pretty thick. Um, just basically the normal layout of how Lego does their instruction manuals. Finally, the advertisement for Lego.com found the third book. Woo! Then this shows you every single piece in the set. There's so many pieces. Oh my gosh. That was like 72. Oh my gosh, it still goes on. Um, Lego Club advertisement. Um, oh yeah, here's the advertisement for uh, uh, Lego DC and Lego Marvel. Actually, a Spider Man. And, hmm, that's a cool looking Iron Man. Different. Anyway, um, sorry about that. Uh, shows you all the some of the different ways you can combine the just the plane, like um, King's Castle. There's the Lone Ranger. Never seen that movie. Um, once again, the little layout for instruction manuals. Um, this is still going, right? Huh? Don't tell me. Did you guys see that? Ah, oh, crud. Um, just the normal layout. This is another probably like 70 something, 60 page build. So, uh, yeah. Here's the brick separator in case you were wondering. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and. Oh yeah, I just don't need to show you the extra pieces. Basically, it's just all of this, and this is from both of them. So basically, just the normal pieces you would normally see that are left over from a set. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, tell me what you think I should do in the future. Um, Tell me if you want more of these reviews. I'm enjoying them. Um, and I'm going to do what's best for the viewers. So, uh, yeah. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.